today we're going to show you how to remove decal stickers from a door. Uh, this sticker's probably been on here about five years. We're going to do it without damaging the paint underneath and damaging the clear coat. Uh, just in case you do, don't forget to visit us at readycarpaints.com. Here's the things we're going to use. We're going to utilize a plastic razor blade because we're going to make the paint surface hot. Next thing we're going to use is this Warrior Harbor Freight heat gun. We're going to use this guy to remove any adhesive residue. This leaves the panel really clean. It removes any debris, wax, grease that might be on the paint. And of course, we're going to use one of our shop towels to go ahead and clean it up. If you do it hot enough, what happens is the metal gets hot. So the metal starts cooking the primer and the base coat and the clear coat. It will start to bubble and you're going to cause paint damage instead of uh, fixing or accomplishing your goal here. Uh, watch another video. We might have a link up at the top where we give a demonstration of uh, heating up the paint too much and, and what happens. It's kind of a good one to watch. So let's get started. We're going to be about 8 to 12 inches away from the surface. We do not remove everything all at once. These are individual letters. So we're going to go ahead and uh, a small area. So we'll, we'll go ahead and hit this whole square here to begin with in the low setting. As you can see, I can I can try to peel this sticker here and it's coming off in chunks, right? Your fingernail, you're going to make yourself bleed. So the easiest way, we're going to heat it up and peel it off. So I started this way. We're going to start here and kind of work our way around. So see how nice and smoothly that is coming off. Now that it's been heated, you can go ahead and grab that. Since it, the metal continues to stay warm, you can actually peel it. But if you try to do this on a cold surface, it's not going to peel. Here we are at about 50 something degrees. So this is very helpful. That's the temperature we have in the garage right now. You see I haven't not heated this area up yet. I'm trying to remove it with my fingernail. It's just falling apart as I try to pull it back. So it's, it's not going to happen. This is a perfect example of what happens also when it's not completely heated. I started to heat it here. Did not heat up enough area here. So you can see with the dirt there. I took the decal off but I left the adhesive. So now I got to come back and clean that up. That's going to create more waste. It's another reason you also want to use the, the plastic razor blade and it comes in handy. Now time to remove the adhesive. As you can see, there's some residue left behind. We're going to get our surface prep cleaner. Make sure you cover a nice wet surface. You go ahead and let it sit for about 60 seconds. After time has passed, go ahead and work your way. You don't want to dig into the paint. Right now you're just getting the material loose. You're just scraping along. So this has all been sprayed down and loosened up. Again, you're going to want to work in small sections. Maybe break this up into three to four to get rid of all of it. I'll give it another pass, just so it continues to loosen up the adhesive. If you rub over it, you'll be able to tell where you have some. I will let this section soak while we go. Now over any small residue that's left, we'll go ahead and just put our shop towel with surface prep cleaner, rub it around and get rid of any excess material on there. I'm going to go ahead and soak it one more time to get any uglies off. Most of the time it's hard to see with the camera but you, you will see that there is a halo left behind over years of this adhesive being on the paint surface. So it's either been cake cooked on by the sun or weatherized. Uh, you're going to need to run uh, a little bit of a polishing compound or some polishing paste over it to make sure you get a, you know, a nice shine back to the clear coat that has been getting hit by the sun and exposed all the time here.
We got some adhesive residue there. Just go over whatever you think might be left. One last time. You can use a reflection of the light to see what you might need to work off here. Hey everyone, we hope this decal removal video was helpful. Uh, in the comments section, go ahead and let us know if there's something in specific you would like us to demo or to show you how to do. Um, visit us at readycarpaints.com where we can custom make any color code you have for your vehicle in case you got rock chips, scratches, or scuffs, either in a touch of bottle or spray can bottle. And we got uh, primers or clear coats if you need it. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next one. ReadyCarPaints.com is the cutting edge in color matching technology. Ready Car Paints delivers performance you can count on and expert service you can trust. Visit us today at ReadyCarPaints.com.